Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to do my December booktuber shoutouts. So I realised I forgot to prep for this, and I usually do not. I usually have it well prepared. And because it's kind of getting late in the month already, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do things a bit differently. I'm going to do the same way that I normally do my tag videos, and choose who to tag. I'm going to go into my comments, and I'm going to go down on who's recently commented, and try to tell you some nice things about their channels. So we're going to start off, and we have Old Blues Chapter and Verse. And um, the reason, actually, that they've recently commented on my channel is because I did their deathbed tag recently. Well, they actually co-created with my second shout-out. But, um, yeah, Jason, who runs the channel, he's got a diverse selection of different stuff he reads. As you can tell, he does some awesome tags as well. And overall, just a really nice dude, actually, with quite a lot of insights to add. Um, you know, he could read books that everybody else has read and then give a new opinion to them, which, which I think is quite the skill to have. And that's actually a trait shared by uh, person number two on this list. So that's Lukash from Totally Pretentious. Now, I actually said to him recently, he did his, uh, you know, top books of the year video. And he's actually one of the few people who I really look forward to seeing their end of the year top books because he just reads such a weird and wonderful selection of books from, you know, old classics to like Buddhist texts to nonfiction. There's just so much on offer on his channel and in his reading in general that you'd be mad not to follow him, especially if you're like me and you like stuff that's a little bit off the beaten path, but which is still, you know, with a, a classical uh, lean towards it. Up next, we have Written in Blood and, as you can tell from the title, Horror Channel. He also does quite a lot of different tags as well, which I appreciate because I do love a good tag. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but he also does reviews as well. So he recently reviewed Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill. He also re uh, read and reviewed The House on Cold Hill by Peter James and uh, really enjoyed that one, which is cool because I was sent uh, an advanced copy of that one. I've been a Peter James fan for a little while now. Peter James is actually on YouTube as well. So if you're looking for author like published author tube channels definitely check out peter james and check out written in blood while you're at it as well especially if you want to see some decent horror recommendations that aren't you know your usual usual lot then we have alex black reads alex and i have been friends for quite a while now i really enjoy her reading vlogs i also enjoy her reviews and we have a fairly similar taste to the point at which we've done quite a few uh, buddy reads together throughout the years she's also a big fan of using the libraries as well which i think uh, you know, should be appreciated and should get a bit more love on booktube. But Alex as well, she just got a cracking personality and um, she's one of those people where, you know, I'm, I'm sure most people feel a little bit uncomfortable in front of a camera, but with some people you could tell and with Alex, I, I don't think it comes across at all. I think she comes across as really confident, really erudite and well-spoken and just in general a, a pleasure to chat with. Then we have Jason's Weird Reads, who I've given many a shout out to. Jason is a very chill, laid back guy. He's a father, I believe, as well. Maybe that's why, I don't know. I think I'd be more stressed if I was the dad. Uh, he, again, he reads quite a lot of horror, quite a lot of indie as well. Um, but he does read a little bit of everything. It's not just horror. He does some great tags, some great discussions as well. And, uh, yeah, when I watch one of his videos, it always feels a little bit like coming home. You know, I always feel very welcome, sort of, into the fold. Then we have Nikki, uh, I read past my bedtime. So Nikki is worthy of a shout out in any case. Uh, I think I've given her a few before because she's quite a community minded person. So uh, she's one of the things that she's done that I really enjoy is she'll do author spotlights and she'll invite different authors to take part. So like Cameron Rubik took part, I took part in it. Charlie Heathcote took part in it as well. But uh, yeah, she, I always see her commenting on other people's videos as well. And yeah, she's just one of those people where you know, I think she takes a lot of pleasure from facilitating different people from the community, uh, you know, hooking up and getting to know each other. And I think that's great. Number seven, we have Cats and Camera. So uh, she recently tagged me actually to do the end of the decade book tag. She finds some great uh, tags as well. I also follow her on Instagram because she's into photography and she does a lot of live music photography. She's probably... The only person on booktube i know who goes to like more gigs than i do well i used to go to a lot more than i do these days and i think she's just kept it up since she was about 17 or whatever it's a fair play to her and she's a very talented photographer she does some great artwork as well in like her bullet journals and things like that so yeah um definitely one of the more creative channels and also as you can tell from the title of the channel you normally have a cat in the video at some point i think she owns about eight of them all right, then we have Bookish, uh, Brian, and oh, don't click that. And um, yeah, he's another one of those pivotal members of the community uh, who's, he, he can be quite opinionated, but in a good way, you know? You never feel as though 
he's talking down to you or anything like that, but he will stand by his opinions when he uh, when he thinks something. And I really respect that in him as well. Even if I don't agree all of the time with him, I probably agree about 80% of the time with him. And um, yeah, it's very thought provoking. And another booktuber with quite a chilled, laid back style, you know, you don't have all this high energy stuff. It just feels like you're just sort of sitting down with a cup of tea with him in the uh, in the living room. And I think that's quite a hard vibe to capture, so uh, big respect to him for that. Then we have Brad Proctor. Brad is a horror booktuber. I think he actually... Was it Brad? Somebody thanked me the other day, and I think it was Brad, for giving them a shout-out before. Um, and, you know, it's my pleasure. He's a, got a great channel. Uh, he does, a, as I say, does a lot of horror. You can see a theme going along here. I think most of the booktubers who watch me probably watch for the same reason I watch them, because we have similar book taste, you know? Uh, still quite an up-and-coming channel. I think um, in the early days he was, again, as everybody is, a little bit nervous in front of the camera, but he's really settled in now, and, um, yeah, definitely, like... You know, an established member of the community as far as I'm concerned. And uh, if you're not watching him, you should be. And say I said hi as well. So we have an author tuber here. So we have Savvy Writes Books. And Savvy's content, like, really, really does span the board. So again, there's a lot of uh, author tube stuff. There's book tube stuff. Uh, she'll do, uh, like, commentary, I guess, on, like, on, like, societal issues, like, LGBTQ stuff. So, yeah, so we've got, like, a in December writing tag. She talked about copper. Nano Um she participated in a few readathons as well, and yeah, it's uh, she does like so she's got a full playlist for uh, anti multi level marketing videos, which again, multi level marketing isn't isn't the best of things. So fair enough. Well, her, her, she says her channel's about books, writing, dogs, toys, art, and business, and uh, I would say that's a pretty good reflection. So yeah, if you haven't come across Savvy yet, definitely be sure to check her out. So yeah, that was a slightly different take on my booktube shoutouts, but hopefully I've introduced you to some new channels or reminded you of some channels that you know and love but who you haven't checked out in a while. As always, I'd love to know as well. Uh, let me know in the comments which channels you're watching at the moment, especially any newbies who could use a little bit of support. I always love to check those out where I can. And uh, yeah, yeah, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Leave that comment. Uh, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe to myself or uh, any of these channels whatever takes you feel really if you see something that you enjoy and uh, i will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot bye bye